Today we're going to be talking about how to add product reviews into our online store. Product reviews should not be underestimated. They provide a lot of social proof that your product is legitimate and people are actually enjoying it. So let's get down to business. Within our Shopify admin, we're going to click on apps and then we're going to click on visit the Shopify app store. What we're going to search for is product reviews. We're going to see a lot of different options for different apps. Now for this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you the product reviews app by Shopify because it is completely free, it's developed by Shopify themselves, and it's a great place to start, especially for a new business. So let's go ahead and click that. Click on add app, and then click on install app. So now that we have the app installed, with this particular app, there is kind of a, a part that can draw people away that they find a little bit scary. And that's that you have to actually edit your theme code in order for this to work. So let's go through a easy and safe way of going about this. First off, within the app, we're going to click on settings and then install instructions. In a separate tab, I'm going to open our online store. By default, this will bring us to our theme section. Now let's make sure that we can edit our code without the fear that we're going to mess up our website. So with whatever is your current published theme, click on actions and click on duplicate. Scrolling down, we can see that our copy is just being added right now. This allows us to go into actions and edit the code of this backup theme without the risk of messing anything up with our current published theme. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now that we're here, let's go back to our instructions. First things first is that we're supposed to look for this section of code or something that looks similar within sections product template dot liquid. So this is less scary than it looks. So first off, we know that it's in the sections folder. So let's go look at our code. We have layout, templates, and then a whole bunch of others. We know that the code we're looking for is within sections. So let's take a look at that and scroll down till we see products. So we see that we have product template right here, so let's click on that. Within our instructions, it says to search for this part here, which is product.description. So let's copy that, go back to our other tab, do Control F or Command F for all those Mac users out there. Let's paste in that, and we can already find that there's a section right here that seems to be exactly what we're looking for in terms of our instructions here. So now that we found that, we're going to go up, copy this snippet of code here, go back to our code, go just below this division here, and paste it in. Go ahead and click Save. And then we can click on Preview. Within the preview of this unpublished theme, let's go to one of our products here. We can actually see now that underneath the description, we have the customer review section, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want, so it seems like we did the right thing. It's good to note that if you're using a paid theme or if you've added a lot of other apps to your store, it might be difficult to find the correct place within your code to insert that little snippet there. Remember that this is a duplicate that's unpublished, so feel free to try and put this in the right section if it's not turning out correctly. So now that we have customer reviews on one of our product pages, for me, I also want to add it to our collection pages. So let's go back to the instructions for this app. If we scroll down, you'll see that the options to add the different reviews to your collections is available. So let's click on show instructions. This is going to be a similar situation to what we did before. The one thing to notice is that this is within the snippet section. Going back to what we were doing previously, we can find that the snippet section is actually a folder below what we were editing. Next, it told us to look for the product grid. So let's take a look here. It looks like we have the product card grid dot liquid file right here. Going back to our instructions, it says that we're looking for product price. So let's copy that and try and find it within our code. It seems for this particular theme that it's right at the bottom here. We're going to go back to our instructions, copy that snippet of code that it's provided, and paste it just below. 
let's click Save and then click Preview to see if it worked. We have to go to one of our collection pages and there you go. You can see that the different number of stars have been added to our product collection list right like that. So there you go. That's how to insert the product reviews app by Shopify. Like I said, there are other options, but this one is completely free and it's supported by Shopify. Hope that helps and I'll catch you next time. Looking to improve your store? Hire a geek. We offer individual store optimizations, one-on-one -on -one training, as well as workshops. Check out the description below for more information.